Hey guys, I'm back with another build video and today I will be covering over the Siam, the anime sword of Warframe, Tanjiro's sun breathing technique and you will see why. But yeah, this is one of my favorite weapons in the game. It looks cool and it plays really fun. It's not like any other do of those uh, regular katana like the Dex Nakana or like the Nakana Prime. Nah, nah, nah. This is different. You have to play this way differently. But yeah, let's get into the build for the Siam. As you can see here, I have melee crescendo because on finisher kill, I will gain uh, initial combo. Uh, rank zero is fine. It's just, uh, it is easier to stack with higher ranks because it gives more initial combo and it maxes out to 12 times, which is basically for the rest of the mission, you'll just have infinite 12 times combo. But yeah, you need this for this build. Of course, rank zero is fine, but rank five is recommended or rank three, of course. So here's the build. Uh, anything's fine. These two are like optional very optional i'm using this because it used to be uh there used to be a time where we didn't have the melee arcane mod so i needed this to build combo and this is really good for building combo so yeah build crit mods of course amalgam organ shatter and gladiator might because i'm also pairing it up with my warframe gladiator sets uh sacrificial steel for crit chance and two times for heavy attack reflex coil for energy or heavy attack efficiency because even if I do have 12 times combo, right? Uh, recharging it will be faster with Reflex Coil. If it goes back, without this, it'll go back to 0 times and then it'll have to charge back to 12 and it takes a long time. Weeping Runes for status chance per combo multiplier. Blood Rush for crit chance per combo multiplier. Condition Overload for my base damage mod because I'm also priming them. So more status effects equal more damage and Prime Smite Grenier because I'm against Grenier. So, as Kulervo, if you are playing Kulervo, Crit Chance mod, you don't need them. You really don't need Crit Chance mod because he already has base uh, Crit Chance on his kit. So yeah, that's that's something you need to know for Kulervo. So, today I'll be using Gauss as my Warframe because I love Gauss. He's my main and he's also my comfort pit. So, three purple shards for melee crit damage and if my energy is doubled or over 500 it'll double the damage so let's get into the build steel charge and coaction drift this just increases melee crit or not crit melee base damage you can change anything else it's fine this is just for extra oomph you know and you, as you can see i have three gladiator mods ages resolve and finesse to stack up my crit chance and yeah, uh, you don't, like I said again, you don't need this for Colervo, but you need this for other Warframes. This is very needed for other Warframes because it's really strong. For my build, I have con uh, Constitution and Archon Continuity for my duration. Don't mind Archon Continuity, it doesn't affect anything. I just have a rank 9 Prime Continuity, that's why. So, these are the duration mods. Prime flow for max energy and also makes my melee weapon do more damage because I have over 600 energy. Rolling guard for more survivability. You can also change this if you want to, but I'm using this for more survivability. And overextended because I will be pairing this with air burst where it'll just bring enemies into you and then I can do a finisher on them. Yeah, really, really easy build as you can see. But here's the build. Uh, for the Apatav, I'm gonna be going over a Heat Inherit, as you can see, Heat, Heat, and Viral, Viral, Viral. And yeah, it's a basic Apatav, basic Primer build, everyone has this, and yeah. I'm also pairing up with Secondary Cover because on status effect, chances of getting another random status effect. But yeah, that's the build, so let's get into testing. <clears throat> no, that's wrong again, that's the second time. That's the second time I did that. That's uh, There's no way I just did that twice. I think in a row too. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah. So, the Siam. Oof. You're, you're gonna, you, you guys are gonna love the Siam. It's really freaking fun. And you'll see why. You will see why. 
Uh, for the Warframe build, remember that you don't have to copy my build. You can make your own build, but you do need the Gladiator, uh, Gladiator set mods. But yeah, airburst them, and then I just finish them. And uh, get my crescendo up. Uh, let me see if I have enough crescendo. No, it's only 7. And again. I don't know why it does that. Oh, uh, let's see. It's still set. Huh? Hello? Why is it still 7? But as you saw just now, I did a heavy attack and they basically died. I didn't even prime them yet. Oh my god. Just I just suck at finishing them. Yeah, this is how you play. Please be 9, 10, 11. Oh my god. Alright, one more, one more. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna use my attack speed buffs now and uh, do this. Bam. Oh, bam. The anime sword of glory. 2 million freaking damage. Casually 2 million. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Of course, priming them is overkill. As you can see, I just one shot them. You don't even need to prime them. Oh my god. 1 million casual damage. Eesh. And I also have Airbus so I can do this. Make it easier for me. 8 million damage. Sheesh. That is crazy, man. Heavy attacks are crazy in this game. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Boom. 4 million damage, 1.8 million damage. As you can see with my multi uh, combo multiplier, it's not going down as... Uh, or it's right charging fast because I do have that reflex coil on. Oh my god. 1.4 million damage without priming. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Yep, yep, it's... <laughs> uh, this is fun. <coughs> uh, this thing is super, super powerful against the Acolytes. And you'll see later once he spawns. 5 million damage, like nothing, man. Prime them as much as I want. Oh my god. Jesus. Woo! Uh, there are moments where the weapon just won't work. If, like, the enemies are standing around here. Uh, I don't know why. Probably a glitch, but I don't know. Wow, damn. <coughs> man, my throat. Wahoo! Like, who doesn't like playing an anime sword, right? You're literally just Tanjiro. You're literally just Tanjiro. You're just... Freaking killing them with heat. A heat wave. Literally the best Nakata in the game in terms of fun. This is just way too fun. Boom, boom. Uh, note also the second hit of the heavy attack does more damage. Because, you know... More damage, I don't know. <laughs> I actually forgot why, but it does more damage. Uh, oh my god, look at that. Oof. Woo! Damn, didn't even prime them yet. Prime them. 7 million damage, as you guys saw. Casually. Not every weapon even can even do this. 7.6 mil damage again. Uh, 2.3 The fact that it's casually doing this is insane though. I know I do have gladiator mods on it But yeah, oh uh, Even without the gladiator mods this build is still probably really crazy. Oh My god, Jesus But yeah, uh, you don't need to prime them if you don't want to like literally all you can, as you can see here uh, I can just one shot them Look, 9 million damage without priming them. The Even if they don't get one-shotted, right? The heat procs will just take them away. As you can see there. And also, the reason why I'm also priming them is so... Uh, I don't get bored looking at the stupid multiplier go up. <laughs> As you can see, I prime them so I get ready for my one-shot. God, why are you so strong? Oh, hello, Acolyte. This is gonna be so fun. Please don't be 
the freaking limbo one though. Please don't be him. I forgot his name. Okay, that's fine. Alright, as you can see here, prime this. And as you can see, they die. I did miss my second shot. So that's why it didn't one shot or it didn't one shot in like a combo. But if you don't miss your second heavy attack, it will it will one shot it in one combo. Slash slash baby. As you can see, a lot of freaking KPM. Not bad for a melee weapon that doesn't have melee influence. It's really freaking good. 646 and freaking 530. That's really freaking strong, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the Siam. The Siam, really strong, really fun, and it's viable with any Warframe. As you can see, I'm using my Gauss because I love Gauss. It, it also kind of it's also kind of because uh, he gives free attack speed, but it's fine. So yeah, recap time. Gauss has purple shards, few of them, of course. Here's the build. The essential mods are gladiator mods. You don't need to copy this, but if you want to, you can copy the build. Uh, Avenger for more crit chance, of course. If you're using Clairvo, you can use Arcane Fury if you want to. And Arcane Strike for attack speed. Apatav build. As you can see, your regular hit and hurt prime primer. And my Siam. Crit damage, crit damage, uh, recharge time. I guess you can say recharge time because I literally have infinite combo. Uh, weeping wounds for status, crit chance, more crit chance, base damage, and also it, uh, it's really good with primers. And of course, prime smite grenier for faction damage mod. But yeah, that's the build as you can see, no companion. And yeah, that's all guys. See you guys in the next video.